formulae and functions. Do you know? Functions are the predefined formulae used to perform complex calculations. Formula One of the most powerful features in Excel is the ability to calculate numerical information using formulae. Just like a calculator, Excel can add, subtract, multiply and divide. In this lesson, you will learn how to use this cell references to create simple formulae. Mathematical Operators Excel uses standard operators for formulae such as a plus sign for addition, a minus sign for subtraction, an asterisk for multiplication, a forward slash for division, and a caret for activity exponents. All formulae in Excel must begin with an equal sign. This is because the cell contains or is equal to the formula and the value it calculates. Understanding Cell References While you can create simple formulae in Excel using numbers, most of the time, you will use cell addresses to create a formula. This is known as making a cell reference. Using cell references will ensure that your formulae are always accurate because you can change the value of reference cells without having to rewrite the formula. In the formula below, Cell A3 adds the value of cell A1 and A2 by making cell references. When you press enter, the formula calculates and display the answer in cell A3. If the values in the reference cell changes, the formula automatically recalculates the value. By combining a mathematical operator with cell references, you can create a variety of simple formulae in Excel. Formulae can also include a combination of cell references and numbers as in the examples below. Fact file Formulae are the bread and butter of worksheet. Do you know? Most formulae you create include references to cells or ranges. To create a formula. In the example below, use a simple formula and cell references to calculate budget. 1. Select the cell that will contain the formula. In the example, select cell D12. 2. Type this equal sign. Notice how it appears in both the cell and the formula bar. 3. Type the cell address of the cell you want to reference first in the formula. Cell D10 in the example. A blue border will appear around the reference cell. 4. Type the mathematical operator you want to use. In the example, type the addition sign. Fifth, type the cell addresses of the cell you want to reference second in the formula, cell D11 in the example. A red border will appear around the reference cell. Six, press enter on your keyboard. The formula will be calculated and the value will be displayed in the cell. If you select the cell again, notice that the cell displays the result while the formula bar displays the formula. If the result of a formula is too large to be displayed in a cell, it may appear as pound signs instead of a value. This means the column is not wide enough to display the cell content. 
simply increase the column width to show the cell content. Values with cell references The true advantage of cell references is that they allow you to update data in your worksheet without having to rewrite formulae. In the example below, the value of cell D10 is modified from $1200 to $1800. The formula in D12 will automatically recalculate and display the new value in cell D12. Excel will not always tell you if your formula contains an error, so it is up to you to check all of your formulae. To create a formula using the point and click method. Instead of typing cell addresses manually, you can point and click the cells you want to include in your formula. This method can save a lot of time and effort when creating formula. 1. Select the cell that will contain the formula. In the example, select cell D4. 2. Type the equal sign. 3. Select the cell you want to reference first in the formula cell B4 in the example. The cell address will appear in the formula. 4. Type the mathematical operator you want to use. In the example, type the multiplication sign. 5. Select the cell you want to reference second in the formula. Cell C4 in the example. The cell address will appear in the formula. Press enter on your keyboard. The formula will be calculated and the value will be displayed in the cell. Copying formulae with the fill handle. Formulae can also be copied to adjacent cells with the fill handle, which can save a lot of time and effort if you need to perform the same calculation multiple times in a worksheet. If the fill handles is a small square at the bottom right corner of the selected cells. 1. Select the cell containing the formula you want to copy. Click and drag the fill handle over the cells you want to fill. 2. After you release the mouse, the formula will be copied on the selected cells. Functions A function is a predefined formula that performs calculations using specific values in a particular order. Excel includes many common functions that can be used to quickly find the sum, average, count, maximum value, and minimum value for a range of cells. The parts of a function. In order to work correctly, a function must be written in a specific way, which is called the syntax. The basic syntax for a function is the equal sign. The function name, sum for example, or one or more arguments. Arguments contain the information you want to calculate. The function in the example below would add the values of the cell range A1 to A20. Working with arguments. Arguments can refer to both individual cells and cell ranges and must be enclosed within parenthesis. You can include one argument or multiple arguments depending on the syntax required for the functions. For example, the function equals average b1 to b9 would calculate the average of the values 
in the cell range B1 to B9. This function contains only one argument. Multiple arguments must be separated by a comma. For example, the function equal sum a1, a3, comma, c1 to c2, comma, e1 will add the values of all the cells in the three arguments. Fact file. Arguments are the piece of information supplied to the function to perform a specific task. Creating a function. There are a variety of functions available in Excel. Here are some of the most common functions you will use. Sum. This function adds all of the values of the cell in the argument. Average. This function determines the average of the values included in the argument. It calculates the sum of the cell and then divides that value by the number of the cells in the argument. Count. This function counts the number of cells with numerical data in the argument. This function is useful for quickly counting items in a cell range. Max. This function determines the highest cell value included in the argument. Min. This function determines the lowest cell value included in the argument. To create a function using the auto sum command. The auto sum command allows you to automatically insert the most common functions into your formula including sum, average, count, min and max. In the example below, use the sum function to calculate the total cost for a list of recently ordered items. One. Select the cell that will contain the function. In the example, select cell D13. 2. In the editing group on the Home tab, click the arrow next to the auto sum command. Next, choose the desired function from the drop down menu. In the example, select sum. 3. Excel will place the function in the cell and automatically select a cell range for the argument. In the example, cells D3 to D12 were selected automatically. Their values will be added to calculate the total cost. If Excel selects the wrong cell range, you can manually enter the desired cells into the argument. 4. Press Enter on your keyboard. The function will be calculated and the result will appear in the cell. In the example, the sum of D3 to D12 is $765.29. You can also use the Alt plus equals keyboard shortcut instead of the auto sum command. To use this shortcut, hold the ALT key and then press the equal sign. Do you know, auto sum feature quickly adds the data values stored in a row or column. Fact file. The auto sum command can also be accessed from the formulae tab. To enter a function manually. If you already know the function name, you can easily type it yourself. In the example below, use the average function to calculate the average numbers of units sold by each group. 1. Select the cell that will contain the function. In example, select cell C10. 2. Type the equal sign and enter the desired function name. 
you can also select the desired function from the list of suggested functions that appears below the cell as you type. In the example, type equals average. 3. Enter the cell range for the argument inside parenthesis. In the example, type C3 to C9. This formula will add the values of cells C3 repeat. This formula will add the values of cells C3 to C9, then divide that value by the total number of values in the range. 4. Press Enter on your keyboard. The function will be calculated and the result will appear in the cell. In the example, the average numbers of units sold by each troop is 849. Excel will not always tell you if your formula contains an error, so it is up to you to check all of your formulae. The function library. While there are hundreds of functions in Excel, the ones you will use the most will depend on the type of data your workbooks contain. You can even use the function library on the formulas tab to browse functions by category such as financial, logical, text and date and time. To access the function library, select the formulas tab on the ribbon. Look for the function library group. Click the buttons in the interactive below to learn more about different types of functions in Excel. Let's recall. Excel has the ability to calculate numerical information using formulae. All formulae in Excel must begin with an equal sign. Formulae can also include a combination of cell references and numbers. Pound signs means the column is not wide enough to display the cell content. Formulae can also be copied to adjacent cells with a fill handle. The fill handle is a small square at the bottom right corner of the selected cells. A function is a predefined formula that performs calculations using specific values in a particular order. A function must be written in a specific way which is called the syntax. Arguments can refer to both individual cells and cell ranges and must be enclosed within parentheses. You can include one argument or multiple arguments depending on the syntax required for the